As you said tonight, we know that Letitia Stout is about 420 miles away from here, just off of I-70 in Kansas at the Saline County Jail. She's being held on a courtesy hold, which is essentially just a secure place to stay for the night, but we still don't know exactly why she was brought there around 3 o'clock this afternoon. And as this community waits to see what happens next, a local company is working to honor Gannon. When you drive around here at night and you see the blue lights and you see the ribbons all over the uh, light poles and everything like that, like there's that unity. From praying for a safe return to mourning a devastating loss, Gannon's community is finding more ways to honor the 11 year old. And he's kind of become our community and our neighborhood's hero in a lot of ways. That's why David Humiston and his brother Daniel decided to create a t shirt. Inspired by the shirt Gannon's mom wore as she spoke about the fact that her little boy is gone. So Thank you for allowing Gannon to be your hero. She challenged everyone that was watching that, that now it's on you to get his story out there. He has a testimony. He's got a story that deserves to be heard. The shirt shows Gannon's silhouette wearing a cape with the words justice for our hero. Humiston and his brother run their shop out of their home, but have had big time interest from around the world. We've had a couple people from Canada ask if we can ship it to Canada. We're crossing our fingers. I think we'll be able to get it there. They're taking orders through Saturday with all proceeds going directly to Gannon's family. He's done so much to bring this community together and we should honor that and we should continue to get that word out there and we should continue to unite behind um, kind of the story of Gannon just throughout this whole process. And there is still a long way to go in this process. Again tonight, we know that Letitia Stauk is being held at the Saline County Jail in Kansas on what's called a courtesy hold. We still don't know exactly why she was brought there on her way back here to the El Paso County Jail. We'll let you know as soon as we learn more. I was told by the jail in Saline County to give them a call back tomorrow morning. As for those t-shirts, we do have a link on our website where you can purchase them. That's KDVR.com. Live in Colorado Springs, Rachel Skyda, Fox 31.